This is a story called Bouncing Bedbugs. There were once some bugs who loved to bounce. They particularly liked bouncing on beds. On Monday night, the bugs visited Billy the Baker. He had to be up early to bake bread, but that night, the bugs bounced on his head, tickled his toes, bounced on his chin, and did a jig on his nose. They kept Billy the Baker awake, and he was much too tired to bake bread. His customers went away hungry. So Billy the Baker shook out the bugs and said, No, no, no! Not in my bed! Off you go! On Tuesday night, the bugs visited Pippa the police officer. She was on traffic duty at the carnival parade next day. But that night, the bugs bounced on her head, tickled her toes, bounced on her chin, and did a jig on her nose. Pippa the police officer had a dreadful night, and she was late for work. The carnival parade was held up in a traffic jam for hours. So Pippa the police officer shook out the bugs and said, No, no, no! Not in my bed! Off you go! On Wednesday night, the bugs visited Declan the doctor. He had lots of patients to see next day. But that night, the bugs bounced on his head, tickled his toes, bounced on his chin, and did a jig on his nose. Declan the doctor tossed and turned, and he was late getting to his surgery. He kept his sick patients waiting, and they weren't happy. So Declan the doctor shook out the bugs and said, No, 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 not in my bed. Off you go. On Thursday night, the bugs visited Bonnie the bus driver. She had to drive the children to school. But that night, the bugs bounced on her head, tickled her toes, bounced on her chin, and did a jig on her nose. Bonnie the bus driver couldn't sleep a wink for hours, and then she overslept. The children were late for school, and their teacher was cross. So Bonnie the bus driver shook out the bugs and said, No, no, no! Not in my bed! Off you go! On Friday night, the bugs visited Paul the postman. He had a mountain of letters to deliver next morning. But that night, the bugs bounced on his head, tickled his toes, bounced on his chin, and did a jig on his nose. They kept Paul the postman awake, and he put letters through the wrong letterboxes by mistake. So Paul the postman shook out the bugs and said, No, no, no! Not in my bed! Off you go! By Saturday, the bugs were running out of beds to bounce on. They flew around, looking for somewhere to stay. That night, they found Patsy the park keeper. Patsy had to be up early to open the park, but that night, the bugs bounced on her head, tickled her toes, bounced on her chin, and did a jig on her nose. Patsy the park keeper couldn't sleep at all, and she was late opening the gates on Sunday morning. There was a queue of people waiting to come into the park, so Patsy the park keeper shook out the bugs and said, No, 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 not in my bed, off... She stopped. Patsy the park keeper had a bright idea. What you need, she said to the bugs, is your very own place to bounce. I may have just the thing. On Sunday afternoon, she went to her shed and took out an old trampoline. It had belonged to her children and hadn't been used for years. Patsy took it to the bottom of her garden. There, you can bounce away on that and not bother anyone. And the bugs loved it. They bounced on their heads, they bounced on their knees, they bounced over rooftops and flew over trees. They bounced so high, right up to the moon, then bounced back home before the clock struck noon. What a splendid idea, said everybody, when Patsy told them the news. Now we can all get a good night's sleep. And from that day on, Billy the Baker, Pippa the Police Officer, Declan the Doctor, Bonnie the Bus Driver, Paul the Postman, and Patsy the Park Keeper were never late for work again.